Okay, let's jump to the next game. That was a fun game. We just uh, we just watched mm. it um, on the Sunday. It was West yeah. Ham United, Rob, playing host at London Stadium against Chelsea. And West Ham won yeah. 3-1 against Chelsea, Rob, in a game that mm. uh, had a little bit of everything, really. Um, a lot yeah. of talk about Mauricio Pochettino. And I'll just start with this, Rob, yeah. that, that when we went to Stamford Bridge and, and we saw them play against Liverpool and got a good performance and looked good. Yeah. Uh, it was for me. It was oh wow, that was surprisingly good. Didn't expect him to be as good as that right yeah. now. Well, this yeah. Chelsea was kind of what I expected last weekend. Um, God, a yeah. lot of mistakes, Rob. New young players, a little bit naive mistakes, yeah. set piece mistakes. Different people yeah. in different spots. Uh, Dizazi, the new defender, looks shaky to me, yeah. Rob. You, you had you, know, so mm. you you miss a penalty. You, you I mean. God, blimey, you knew the most expensive player in British football comes on and gives a penalty away. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it was it was everything that I thought we might see from Chelsea, to be fair. Of course, there's flashes yeah. in there that look good yeah. and they've got, they got talented players. Um, mm. and, and Caicedo and Enzo are going to be really good together. But there's a lot, there's a lot yeah. of work to do, a long way to go. And they've got to cut out the mistakes of not marking at corner kicks or a defender that, that gives a ball away and then allows Mikel Antonio enough space to get a shot away where he scores. So some painful lessons, Rob, I thought, for some of those um, players at Chelsea. Yeah, I, I kind of had a similar note. Uh, there, were, there were some bright spots. I thought sometimes their football is quite sleek. They work it into d d uh, difficult, uh, decent areas. Um, I still feel there's a bit of, in both boxes, they... they, they Mm. lack a little bit mm. of conviction mm. defending side like you say picking up doing a good job seeing things off Desorzi getting closer appreciating mm. this is a Premier League you mm. can't sit a yard or two nope. off a forward in the Premier League 18 yards from goal mate because he's going to end up in the back of your net um, but at the other end of the pitch I thought they, they created one or two things got to some good areas some of those hot spots in the, in, in the, in the um, last third but never really had the the bodies or the runs or the conviction of, of, the, of, mm. of their passing to, to get goals. So I think it, it's bright. I, I thought today it was a day where know-how, understanding yeah. and Basics, good instruction really. mm. from, from West Ham, yeah, outdid a young, t a young team that mm. are going to be inconsistent, Rob, and they're going to be trying in, the, in, the, in these days where form's going to go a bit up and down and, and Pochettino's going to have to manage that and know when to bring players out and give players a run. I thought one, one player, Robbie, who I was particularly impressed with today from Chelsea's point of view was Raheem Sterling. Oh, he yeah, really he looked like he had, the, he, had the, mm. he, 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 he had a bit between his teeth. He wanted to get on the ball. He was nice and live. He gave Emerson some, some problems. Linked up nicely with Jackson. Um, who's another Rob? You know, I thought some some nice moments from Jackson. Again, he's, he's, he's a little unlucky when he's run through, and the, he was just offside yeah. when it would have been a penalty. Um, you know, if he can, he's got to get himself, you know, his goals and, and get on the run. But I, I like what he's doing. I think he's another one. But again, it's it's keeping these guys confident and, and knowing the levels and consistent, which is going to be the the challenge for for Pochettino in, in Chelsea right now. But um, I I thought there was there was some good moments that he can take away from. But in the end, you've got to have a bit of a bit of nous, a bit of Premier League know how to get through difficult moments. And, the mo and, and right is where we are, Chelsea. You know, we're a little bit short on that, I thought, today. I mean, Chelsea have spent so much money on central midfield players <laughs> that that area mm. is... They're good. Like, that, that's done. That that, that central mm. midfield, the, the, the midfield generals yeah. in there, there's three of them, Blavia now as well, and others, by the way. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. You made an interesting point, Rob, where they lack numbers going forward. I think that's a that could be an issue. Now we know that Chirwell and Reese James. I thought Gusto yeah. was good, by the way. I think he's a he's a good acquisition. Yeah, he's they, a good they player, got him man. in January he's early good, on. Yeah, he's really a, good. He's twenty years of age, a yeah. good wing back as well. Mm. Um, but when you think of lacking numbers going forward, Rob, I immediately think about the system and how they're playing. And and the three slash is five. Yeah. You know, at times it's five at the back. I think ultimately mm. Pochettino will want to play with a back four. That leads to another attacking yeah. player to add a little bit because Absolutely. you said it earlier defensively mistakes and shaky and also in the attacking third Rob with an extra man I, I'm like mm. they don't they don't look like it's creating much I mean Sterling yeah. was bright no Carney Chuck I, 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 I again I pointed him out on our, on our broadcast today Robbie he got caught out for the for the first goal the set piece goal it's his zone where um, Aguirre yeah. scored yeah. then he does a brilliant Aguirre bit of play where he scores yeah. himself and then sadly for him he went off looked like 
something nasty. Yeah, he couldn't, and, yeah is it a knee or yeah. bang? I don't, mm. We don't know what it is right now. Yeah. I just think he's a, you know, that, that he looks really good to me. It was a shame, yeah. He looks yeah. really good. Yeah, it was and, a shame. And, so yeah they, it's a real shame. And, and yeah. Poch has played him a lot as well, Rob. Poch looks yeah. like he likes him. He wants to, you yeah. know, nurse him through. Yeah. But that's going to be a few of these players, isn't it? He's going to have to nurse them through, you know, difficult times, disappointing results, picking themselves up, going again. That's what the Premier League is, mate. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I think th- th- this, I-, I just think we're going to talk Chelsea, Rob, and I think one week we're going to say, yeah, you know, yeah. a bit young, yeah. we make some mistakes, yeah. and then next week we're going to say, mm-hmm. wow, they got, you know, they got some blooming good players yeah, here. That's good. And and Pochettino afterwards, Rob was was a bit rambly with his answer. I think I think we're going to I think we're going to see that a little bit because there's going to be times where, I mean, that's a bad result, a West Ham three-one defeat. It's a bad result. Mm. And when he came out and said that we need to, I'm not taking excuses and reasons why we can't win. We should be ready to win from day one. I'm like, blimey, that's not going to be easy with this amount of change and these young players and some of them that we don't know how they're going to react to the to the level of the Premier League and the physicality of it. So, yeah, going to take time. We've seen them two games now. Really impressive one time. Not so much the second game, but that's, you know, the nature of, of building. It's a I mean, it's a new team with a new manager. I mean, there's so much yeah, new about it. Yeah, it's a new team, yeah. It's, it's not easy. New. It's not easy. I think this whole season, Rob, is about building the, this this club, you know, getting the right culture back, getting the winning mentality yeah. back, building yeah. relationships on, the, on the football pitch. I think this whole season is that. And, yeah. and, where, and where they finish up, in some respect, is secondary to getting all those things right. Yeah. Next season is when we'll start to take a real judgment of where Chelsea are and how much progression they've made on, under Pochettino. Um, but yeah, in, in the words of people who know better than us, it's a project, my friend. It's really a is. Pochettino project mm. at, at the moment. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.